Here's my sewing machine all wrapped up, just waiting on me to start a new project. Pick up your machine? Yes. Yay, I missed my baby. <laughs> I took my machine in for routine maintenance. So I'm going to tell you what they did to the machine. And it had been a while since I got it done. Like maybe a couple years. So it was definitely due. It was definitely dirty, really filthy on the inside. So, hopefully it'll be like brand new. So I'm excited to use it after picking it up. I've already decided what pattern I want to make next. This thing is really heavy. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together. I never take the cords because they always have cords at the place that I go. It's a sew and back. It's sewing and vacuums that they repair. Okay. And then I took my little table off, the extension table. Put that back on. My knee lift, put that back on. This is a baby lock soprano machine. And oh, it looks so nice. And then I took the little, you know, the thread cap, the end cap, took that off. I'm putting that back on. And they gave me a list of everything that they did to the machine. And there are several things. So let me get my glasses so I can see. They cleaned and oiled the machine adjusted the tensions, checked the hook timing, checked needle clearance, checked needle position, checked forward and reverse feed, checked the feed dog height, checked stitch pattern, checked belts, tested needle threader, tested thread cutter, tested the bobbin winder, replaced the needle, and then they did a test sew, and they did a test sample. So here's the test sample. Let me show you up close. So they did a few sample stitches, I guess, after they repaired everything. I hope you can see that. And they did the same thing on each side. What they charged me was $1.99. No tax or anything. That was just the flat rate $1.99. So I'm happy to have my machine back and I am ready to get started on my next project. So this is what I am planning to sew next. This is Simplicity 9450 and I decided that I didn't want my skirt to be this long. I didn't want it to be this short. So I added four inches to this length here. And that way I can have something that's kind of in between these two lengths. And I have all of the pieces cut out. Now, this pattern does call for twill tape. The pattern recommends that you purchase one and three fourths yards of three eighths of an inch wide twill tape or ribbon. Piece 17 is cut of the twill tape. So I am going to use this fabric here. I went to Joann's and saw this fabric on clearance and I decided to pick it up because I had already made some other garments from the same fabric. So this is the twill tape that I picked up. I purchased the amount that the pattern recommended. When I was looking through the directions, I saw that on step two, you are going to take the twill tape and put it around the edge of the skirt. Then I also noticed on step number five, it says cut two pieces of twill tape each 20 inches long. Well, if you do that, 
then you will not have enough of the twill tape. So I purchased the amount that the pattern recommended for the twill tape. I realized later that after I measure around the top edge of the skirt, I'm not gonna have enough for two 20 inch pieces to make the ties for the skirt. So if you do decide to make this, you may wanna purchase a little more twill tape. Since I don't have enough and I don't plan to go back to the store to get any more, I'm gonna use this. I happen to have this big roll of 5 h inch twill tape and I'm going to use this to go around the skirt for step number two and then I will just use the twill tape, this one here, to make the ties where you need two of them to be 20 inches long. I am about to press my pattern pieces. This pattern only uses three main pattern pieces and then you have this piece here that's cut out of the twill tape. This is turning out to be a really, really easy project. So I already attached the three skirt pieces. This is the back and these are the two fronts. And then now I'm at the point where I am going to measure out the twill tape that goes on the top of the skirt. And I'm gonna make sure the twill tape goes to the end, make sure it's even on this end. And then I'm gonna measure all the way down to the other end and make sure it's even there too. And then I will go ahead and cut. I use the same twill tape to wrap around my scissors and then I wear this around my neck so that I'll have my scissors nice and handy. So let me go ahead and measure this out evenly and cut it. And then I will go ahead and attach it to the top the directions have you place the twill tape on the skirt and then you stitch down very very close to the bottom edge so I am going to place this on top I'm gonna leave some of this hanging off and I may glue it down just a little bit to the edge and then I'm gonna sew right here close to this edge and then you flip it over and press it down. So I'm going to use some of this fabric glue and just dab the edges. I'm going to do this all the way down and then I will take the twill tape and just kind of, it's supposed to go down 3 8 of an inch. I'm just going to kind of eyeball that. Press this down all the way and then you stitch it very, very close to the end here. You just stitch it all the way down. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish adding this glue so that I can put this twill tape on here. And then I'm gonna use the other brown twill tape. I'll use that for the ties, which I think I mentioned before. And the brown twill tape doesn't exactly match but I'm not too worried about it. I think it'll be okay. I have my walking foot on my sewing machine. I'm gonna sew like really, really close to this edge here. Okay, the twill tape is on and this is how it's looking on the other side. So that glue came in really handy so now I am going to turn this inside and press it and then sew the twill tape down on the inside of the skirt. This was a super quick and easy skirt to make. And with the twill tape that I purchased according to the pattern, after I cut the two pieces for the ties, this is what was left over. So I'm just sharing this to show that this would not have been enough to go around the waist area. So if you're planning to make this skirt, I would say if you buy three yards of twill tape, that should be enough to go around the whole area of the waistband and also enough for the ties. 
I decided to pair the skirt with a simplicity bodysuit that I made recently and I really like how it made the whole outfit look like an actual dress.